Oh hi. Today I'm going to be telling you a story. It's a traditional African story. It was called The Big Piece of the Sky. Long ago, there were a lot of people who didn't have to who didn't have to cook and bring water and stick bring water and sticks to make a cook fire. They just reached up high into the sky and pulled out a piece of sky and ate it. That's how they lived their life. But one day the sky got really angry and the sky instead of shining brightly became dark. And this land's king or ruler was called Obama. The sky was angry and the sky went above Obama's palace and said, Obama, your people have been misusing me. They have been taking far too much more than they can eat. And they have been throwing the leftover bits of sky as huge peel has huge piles of garbage. I'm warning you, tell them not to do so. And the next day, Obama was very frightened with this this strange reaction of this of the clouds. So he sent messengers to tell everyone not to waste the sky. And everyone did do, did so for a long while. But one day came a very big festival, beautiful dancers and everyone else started to dance. But, uh, but, and even the king himself, Obama, danced for many days. And one day, the, there was this woman named Obesi. She came with her wife, Otalo. And they came over to Obama's palace to celebrate the festivals. And she had a great time in the palace. But she was a kind of person who wanted a lot of things. She wore a lot of coral necklaces. She could hardly walk, but she still wanted more of them. And she loved to eat. And while Obama and while Obama were and Odessi and Otalo were eating, Odessi said, Wow, this place is so beautiful. I wish I could live here. She did live in the village. But she didn't live at the castle, and that's what she wanted. But she knew that it was far too much as what she'd wished, so she couldn't get it. And while Otalo and Odessi were heading home, Odessi thought, Wow, what a wonderful festival. Beautiful dancers, drumming, singing. There's so much to do, and especially the food. It tasted so nice. And... She loved the sky of the taste so much that she reached out and got a very big piece of the sky. And she could and she ate only a bit of it. She couldn't finish the whole thing. She was too full. And she said, "What have I done? Otalo, come here and come here and eat this." And Otalo tried, but he couldn't eat the whole thing. The this piece the piece of the sky still was very large. They called their kids and asked them to do so. But they had also been to the party and could not take more than a few small bites. All the neighbor, the whole neighborhood came, but there was, but there was a still big piece of cloud in Odessi's hand, and she thought, just one piece wouldn't, just one piece throwing away wouldn't hurt. She went home and buried it so that no one can see it. And the and the cloud became all dark and there was a great noise. There was a great deal of noise. Thunder and lightning struck, but no rain fell. And the clouds came over Obama's palace and says, Obama, mighty one, I understand you have told everyone, but the villagers have not been respectful and have used it from me and I am going far away as your people have not been respectful to me. I shall leave this place. And Obama cried out, What? How could you do that? What will the people eat? How would they live? And the cloud said in a great deep voice, They have to learn and find their 
own food and hunt for it. From that day on, everyone did so. But they always remembered this incident that the cloud tasted so good they could never forget the taste. And from this story, we learn that we could not, we could, we should not take more than we, more than we can eat or more than we can have. We should just be happy with the things that we already do. Even though sometimes it means that you might have to get a lot lesser.